Hello, my name is Jeff Merrick. I'm the Managing Director of Granite Loan Solutions. Uh, this is another part in our series of uh, interviews with industry experts, and today we've got Jason Connolly, the President of Counselor Direct with us. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Uh, Jason, we wanted to get some information out to our note buyer clientele, and uh, you know, we understand that Counselor Direct is highly involved with the hardest hit funds. Uh, if you give us a little background on Counselor Direct, uh, uh, I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, Counselor Direct was formed back in 2008. Um, the founders and I all have backgrounds in mortgage banking. And uh, at the time the housing crisis began, uh, we had a lot of uh, previous clients reaching out to us looking for assistance on how they could get a loan modification. Um, and so we began to look at ways to uh, assist them and, and came up with a software platform where they could automate uh, that assistance uh, request, getting it to the servicer. Um, it was around that time that <clears throat> the uh, HUD approved counseling agencies uh, were receiving millions of dollars to provide this assistance to homeowners and guide them, uh, but their process was hugely inefficient. And so we uh, repurposed the, the software to uh, aid these HUD approved housing counselors to uh, make their process more efficient in, in getting this assistance to the homeowners. Um, it was back in 2010 when we were actually in a pilot with the state of Ohio because they were going to make the software available for all their counseling agencies statewide when the United States Treasury announced the hardest hit funds. Uh, initially the program was set out um, for $7.6 billion to 18 states in the District of Columbia to develop mortgage assistance programs where the states uh, would make the mortgage payment or provide reinstatement payments on behalf of the homeowner to catch them up or make them current. Uh, of those 18 states, 11 of those are clients of Counselor Direct. Uh, we work through uh, developing the entire software platform for them, everything from upfront application for the homeowner. We distribute those case files to a network of counseling organizations who underwrite them, review them, collect documents from the homeowners. Uh, those that meet initial eligibility are then transferred on to the state housing authority where they are uh, underwritten further. Uh, we exchange data back and forth with the servicers on a daily basis in terms of collecting current information, uh, appraisal information, and, and as well as outstanding balances. Uh, those um, that are finally approved and agreed upon uh, between the, the state and the servicer go to loan docs. The states will actually set up uh, mortgage payments uh, within the system and disperse funds. And then we have a reporting layer that sits on top of all of that because the U.S. Treasury wants to know where the money is going and uh, who's being assisted. Uh, so that's kind of uh, how, we, how we've come along and, and it's evolved much more than that. So initially we were, were uh, providing the software, uh, but really our background and experience has been in uh, deploying these programs efficiently. And we, it's a very highly consultative service in terms of working with the states, identifying workflow and business process, finding those inefficiencies and, and kind of uh, getting homeowners through the system and getting answers quickly in terms of getting the money dispersed and out on the streets. So that's fantastic. It sounds like your software platform is actually creating um, consistency or standardization in the, in, in the efforts of the HUD counselors, is that correct? That's correct. Um, although each state varies slightly uh, in their programs and what they offer, there is a consistent element and, and process that each of them follow and it helps streamline that and make that more efficient, cuts down on the process time, gets the homeowner through that eligibility and underwriting process more quickly, and ultimately gets the cash out on the streets faster. And it's, okay, so uh, we, we trade mortgage notes, as you're well aware, uh, to note investors, note buyers nationwide. Uh, we realize that a lot of the notes that we sell are in these hardest hit areas. Um, with that being said, can you give us an overview of kind of the benefits of, of utilization of the hardest hit funds? Absolutely. So the, um, each state, uh, their programs vary slightly, um, but there, there are common elements among those. So uh, typically they're looking for homeowners who have either experienced a hardship or a reduction in employment or unemployment. Uh, and then they will go and, and set them up on various assistance programs. And those assistance programs can range anywhere from uh, principal reduction where the state will actually pay down 
the loan balance to uh, incentivize the service or investor to do a modification or to restructure the note. Uh, in, in other instances, the uh, state will provide reinstatement payments. So if a homeowner is behind two or three months, or if they're delinquent on their property taxes or HOA fees, they'll go ahead and, and make those current and, and put them on a proper footing. And then in other instances, the state will actually make the mortgage payment on the homeowner's behalf for up to 24 months. And so from a, an investor and servicer's perspective, that uh, brings that loan back into performance. It puts them on uh, an ability to collect and monetize that, that investment and, and work with uh, the homeowner in terms of restructuring that note and trying to get them in a better spot to get them back so that you can reperform and, and benefit from, from the asset. So uh, if I'm the note buyer and I, I, am, I acquire a mortgage note in one of these areas, how would I best find out if um, the borrower has requested help or if there is some help available for me in, in the sense of um, either counseling or you know, relocation uh, assistance or something like that? That's a good question. So there are, uh, within these states, there's a network of, of counseling organizations that you know, their job is to go out and do intake and to uh, bring these homeowners to the system and determine whether or not they're eligible for the program. And so there is the ability for um, each state has their own website uh, that you can search from. You can Google Hardest Hit Fund. Uh, there's also the U.S. Treasury's website, financialstability.gov, has a section on Hardest Hit Fund, and so you can reach each of the state's specific uh, application portals. Uh, oftentimes what happens is investors or, or servicers will encourage their um, their note, the, the homeowners, to apply for assistance if they have not done so already and to evaluate them. Uh, in other instances, the, the investors actually um, contacted uh, the, the HUD approved counselor to see if they can do outreach for them and try and encourage the homeowner to apply for these programs, uh, typically through mailers or other sorts of outreach. Okay, and could you possibly reverse into that if you were to buy a note you check the system and maybe the borrower has not raised their hand and asked for help yet and you could gain access to the borrower to communicate with them through your servicing platform. Um, could you request that the borrower jumps on a website and, and, and applies? Correct, and that's typically how it starts. Is so uh, go out and, and request that the homeowner check to see if they are eligible for assistance. Each of the state's websites is out and available. It's completely free to the homeowner. There's no uh, cost or requirements uh, associated to it. And so those, those programs are there, and it's really about awareness and trying to get the, the word out there that the, these programs do exist. They are helping the people, and they are available. Fantastic. Um, well, it sounds like there's a lot of money that the government's put out to help homeowners. Uh, that's a direct benefit to note owners. Um, you know, the note platform, is, as you're aware, is, is just skyrocketing right now. So, again, our goal with, with this conversation was to get out some information, let the, bar, let the note buyers know that they can get some assistance for their borrowers, um, which will uh, hopefully expedite the process of loss mitigation and uh, also uh, increase their profitability by receiving some, you know, relocation funds or some guarantees on some loan modification payments. So, uh, I really appreciate you taking your time again, Jason, and uh, we look forward to talking with you again in the future. Thanks for having me, Jeff. I appreciate it.